Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hey there, everybody. I'm going to be talking about a movie called Willow Creek. This is a pretty good movie, and it is about Sasquatch, Bigfoot, something I've done a podcast on. I ranted about the community. I was a big Bigfoot fan. It's written and directed by Bobcat Goldthwait. Yes, the guy from Police Academy, a comedian. He's done some other movies too, Shakes the Clown. Um, anyway, this movie's I, I really love this movie. It is a found footage type documentary movie. And I think it's done really well. I'm going to be biased because uh, I do love Bigfoot, the myth of it. Not that I believe he's real. I don't think he's real. But I've done a podcast and I've explained it more. It's called Bigfoot or something like that. But Willow Creek is a really good movie. It, it's it got a small cast, independent, but done really well. The plot's pretty easy to follow, and there's nothing groundbreaking in that way, but it's done really well. I got annoyed at a lot of the found footage movies. I guess when you get a movie like Blair Witch and uh, the genre just starts ramping up, you're going to get overwhelmed, and the quality you know, doesn't always meet a high standard. I think this goes back to it. It's quiet, strong, horror suspense it's got some humor in it that works really well it's basically about a husband and wife who go into the woods during a bigfoot festival and try to film their own documentary i think it's more like the husband wants to do it but the wife is going along for the ride the humor in it is really good it's Starts with uh, interviewing people. I won't give major plots or storylines. Uh, but it, it fits the mold of a traditional movie. So there's no surprises in that way. But as the movie progresses, it shows how talented he is as a director. Using Because this cast is like a not known cast. It, um, the performances are excellent. And there are real people in the movie like you would see in a real Bigfoot documentary. So let's say you're watching a Bigfoot show or a documentary. They go into the town, they interview the locals, and it plays on that theme. I think at the time, finding Bigfoot is was popular. I guess it might might even still be on. I never watched that show. It's just ridiculous. But it'll follow that formula. Go into the town, interview the people, and they laugh about it. Ha ha ha. Then they want to go to where the Patterson footage was. This is, you know, groundbreaking footage, supposedly a scam, if you believe it or not, how good it looks. Anyway, they want to go to the place where it was originally filmed and do their own thing. And it gets dark. It gets scary. I won't give it away. Is he real? Is he not? Because a lot of these movies will play on the natural themes of Bigfoot's real. And he's or he's not. But if he's not, it's usually some explanation of like feral people or um, like a real thing that's happening. And they just put a twist on it a little bit. So that much I'll say. I mean, they go into the woods for a purpose. It's they're kind of making fun of the Bigfoot uh, mania and. The husband's really excited, and it shows in the performances, uh, the doubting of the wife, uh, how it, it unfolds and progresses in a really unique, cool fashion. Well, I wouldn't say unique in that way because it's found footage, but it's done well. And I say this sometimes in podcasts. Like if you're going to do something, do it well, and most people will buy it, will go along for the ride. A lot of movies... If the if it's not done well, I'm not I'm not gonna buy it, and I think that's a fault of a lot of critics in that in that way. This is a 
obvious uh, labor of love. I went back and watched an interview with Joe Rogan and Bobcat. It was great. If you want to check it out, they talk about the movie. And he keeps telling them, don't spoil it, don't spoil it. Stop talking about it. It's one of those type of movies. You don't want to know much about it except for that. Husband and wife go do their own Bigfoot thing. And it's uh, it's a trip. It's a fun, scary trip. Done well. No super overloads on certain things. If, if, if it's in the movie, it has a purpose in that way. Little elements that you'll recognize, you pay attention to. It's got a good foundation and done really well. I would say how, well, he, I think Kevin Smith's more prolific as a director, but this is my favorite movie of Bobcats. Um, now I've been a big fan of him, uh, you know, in the police academy, although I'm old enough to remember loving him as a kid. That voice he did and the, you know, the coked out nut he played it wasn't really for me. And he apparently it wasn't for him either. But that's something you could watch the Joe Rogan interview. He talks about it. But wow, who I wouldn't have known he was that talented. I liked his a couple other movies. They're a little dark, and you know you can see where he's not well accepted as a director or a writer, maybe in that sense. But this really does it for me. It really shows how talented he is. Well done. I love a horror movie. I love horror. Found footage when it's done well, is it's excellent, and it's Bigfoot, Sasquatch. That whole myth, that whole going to the woods investigating, has always gotten me. Even as a kid, as someone who likes camping, I've never gone. You know, like what would they call it, squatch, you know, whatever. But I could see me getting into it and enjoying it for the, for what it is. Like if I was going camping, I would do a mock. Uh, and, oh, we found hair and all that bullshit, or footprints, nonsense. But this movie just really hits the elements. It really pulls together the community of ideas that are in Bigfoot lore. It kind of plays with them in a really cool way. And it's done well so well that you find yourself, like, at the end of the movie, going, get out of here, I want more. Like, you, you just want more. And I think that's a sign of a great movie. So... Watch Willow Creek, directed by Bobcat Goldthwait. Yeah, I know. 2013 horror movie. Just a gem. Uh, great movie. You'll have fun. If found footage bothers you, I get it. But, you know, it's, it's a short movie. It's like a, not even an hour and a half, I think. It's got the um, markings of a real labor of love. I've said that before, but watch Willow Creek. It's a little spooky, funny, a little dark humor, but I think everybody will enjoy it. Take care, everybody. Stay healthy. Be well.